Why is the PBD podcast channel growing so fast and what are two things that you can do to implement their strategy because I did the research for you and I followed them for a long time. So I'm gonna tell you two things that you can do yourself to grow your channel, to grow your business. All right, number one, should you follow Patrick Bad David? The answer is yes. Why? Because he has a $23 million mansion. He lives actually very close to me, Fort Lauderdale. I love Florida, it's summer every day. Because he's rich, that's why you should follow him. If your goal is to make money, follow people like that and then do exactly what they said. My whole life, I used to watch motivation business channels for fun. It was entertainment for me. The second I started started doing what these people that are successful told me to do and told other people my whole life changed I just did what these people told me to do the second thing is you don't have to like Patrick bad David hundred percent I never worry about what somebody's doing in their private life I don't care what he does in his private life I want him to teach me how to make money how to become a businessman how to get boats and houses and shows and clothes and I'm just, I'm not gonna say that. Just kidding. But look at what you want to learn from somebody. I don't go up to Michael Jordan and say, hey, you're fighting with your wife. No, shoot free throws. Show me how to shoot free throws. Show me how to shoot free throws, how to score 32 points. I don't care what you do with your girlfriend. So two things that you can implement that the PBD podcast is doing that I think will help you and they're pretty simple, all right? Number one, collaborations. You've heard this before, you know this, but how can you implement this? Because Patrick Bet David, this is him, this is him, has money. So he has guests like Shaquille O'Neal, Mike Tyson, Kobe Bryant, mafia bosses, everybody, right? Does he pay them? Because you don't have money and he does. The answer is probably yes, but it doesn't matter. The point is that you should collaborate. If you have a thousand subscribers, if you have 10,000 subscribers, followers, whatever, collaborate with people on your level. So then it's a mutual benefit. Send somebody a gift card, do whatever you want. This is work, this is work. Patrick Bet David is somebody I've followed for a very long time. He had great educational videos and he has done this for a very long time. Collaborations are something that he implemented, which with obviously very famous people, but if you don't have money and you're not gonna pay Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal, 100K yeah. for half an hour, then talk to people in your industry. This will benefit you a lot, all right? Even if you do it twice a month, hey, let's do a podcast, I really love your channel. So this is something that you might have known already, everybody has heard about it, but this is what they are doing, big time. So whenever you have a big goal and you totally screw up everything, you're still going to be successful. That's the point. You don't need Shaq, but if you can get 10% of the results or even 1%, your channel, your business is going to grow. Topics. This is something that's very important for two reasons. For two reasons. Number one, you're a human being. Maybe you're artificial intelligence that's watching me or a robot. If you're not, you're a human being. You have emotions, right? You have opinions on many different things. So it's very hard just to talk about one thing, like business and money. Talking about money every day for the rest of your life, unless you're somebody like Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank that talks about it, loves it 24 seven, you're gonna have a hard time doing something, creating content on just one topic for the rest of your life. So why is it good to broaden your topics? It's good because as a human being that has many different opinions on stuff, you're going to have motivation to continue to do what your passion is, which is creating content and growing your business, right? You'll wake up and say, hey, I have a problem with Joe Biden's policy that's this and that, right? Whatever. There business, their podcast is growing so fast because they are reaching mass audiences with different topics. They talk about everything. They talk about everything. If you haven't noticed and you follow them, they talk about everything. Politics, sports, mafia. Their biggest views, the most views they got was interviewing mafia bosses and uh, they weren't all mafia bosses. Some of them are people that would just cut your throat. Sammy Gravano. But imagine the audience that he got, the new audience. There are some people, straight up Italians, mafias that, that love mafia. So a person that's watching this interview, it's so interesting. Who doesn't want to hear a mafia boss talk? That person also might like fitness, might like business, might like something else you're talking about. So once again, the two major things 
things is this is good to keep you motivated. Broadening your topics is something very good for you to keep you motivated to create content. And the second thing is you're going to reach a much bigger audience if you have a variety of different topics, all right? Patrick Bet David is a hustler. He's an extremely hardworking person. He wasn't always successful. This took years and years and years to get to this level, but he also started with zero subscribers, zero dollars in his life. I don't see him downtown at the bars. I'll just say that. Patrick, I know you told your wife you're only gonna be home on Sundays. That's when you're home, the family man. I'll attest to that. I will confirm that. I don't see him out downtown and he lives in my city not very far from me hopefully i see you somewhere though but anyways follow this channel i'm gonna have good stuff subscribe like whatever the hell you're supposed to do on youtube i'm starting this channel because i'm passionate about creating content as well i already made my money in software right but this is something i'm passionate about and something i'm gonna keep doing for the rest of my life see you guys next time